Vanam Fang X, a YouTube user who until recently had some 27,000 subscribers, has a history of abusing the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. About 15 months ago, in October of 2008, he was constrained to read this apology after filing about 150 baseless DMCAs. This is an apology from myself to Thunderfoot and other YouTube users. I confirm that the contents of this apology are true and accurate. My username on YouTube is VenomFangX. As many of you may know, there has been a dispute between Thunderfoot and myself over the past few weeks. We have resolved that dispute, and as part of the resolution, I am here to express my regret for the misuse of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act to serve takedown notices in relation to a number of Thunderfoot's videos on YouTube. On 5th of January 2010, he filed another 30 baseless DMCAs, including ones against DPR Jones. DPR just subsequently filed counter notices and told Venom Fang X that he would pursue the matter further unless he left YouTube for a year. Venom Fang X then maliciously put up a doctored video claiming that a 20 something aged woman showing her breasts for a charity blog event was in fact DPR Jones soliciting a 17 year old girl to show her breasts. The videos they upload only hurt people. Everything they do. This one user in particular named DPR Jones, someone just sent me a video clip of him asking an underage girl to strip naked on webcam on his blog TV. This pedophilia is a serious crime, and these are the types of people, I mean, why, why do I want to be on YouTube? Why do I want to deal with these types of depraved, sick monsters? Why would I... So I'm I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm closing my channel today. But you guys, you guys got to pick up the torch. You got to make sure that this this man in particular does not victimize any other young girls. So on the side of this video, under more info, there's a link to a video clip. It's answered, so it's fine. I want you to copy that link, download the video, either put it on your channel or send it send that link to a child protection agency. All the information is in the video. So just tell them that a user named DPR Jones is engaging in this types of type of activity and you want them to do something about it and they will they'll probably contact YouTube something will be done um, so raise awareness guys I'm not gonna be here on YouTube you know I'm not going to be able to help you guys but as Christians as salt and light we're to purify and I don't YouTube wants a pedophile running around on their website so, it's up to you guys. In requested that people report DPR Jones as a pedophile to the police. So, just want to say goodbye to all of you. I'll miss you. God bless you guys. DPR Jones' personal data, which he had obtained through the DMCA counter notice to anyone who responded to his request. Vanam Fang X subsequently shut down his YouTube account. There can be no clearer case to highlight this loophole in the DMCA. File a baseless DMCA against someone and get their private details. Then accuse them of being a pedophile, drop their docs and leave. This shortcoming of the DMCA at this point should resonate with every single person watching this video. I mean, let's just say for instance that this happened to Jesus Freak. For the simple example that it's known that he has a daughter who he loves dearly. This loophole has the potential to permanently ruin lives and split up families. And for what? Because no steps were taken to put safeguards in to prevent the abuse of this legislation designed to protect the capital value of big intellectual property. Regrettably, I do not have the appropriate skills or knowledge to take this further. But someone must do. There can be few clearer examples of the need for DMCA reform. However, unless we get this information into the hands of the right people, this loophole will remain open. Please either contact me or pass these details on to anyone who you think will be able to move forward in preventing this form of DMCA abuse from happening in the future.